Hey guys, it's Tanny here, and today, guys, the Crimson Moon has risen upon Deepwoken. For I, Tana Deepwoken, have taken it into my hands to reveal my 600 HP Silent Heart Flare Blood Commas build. You heard me right. 600 HP Silent Heart Flare Blood build. The build that is currently 6 1 with Yuki in ones, in Shime, in anything, guys. The build that is being ICRQI, faded, and beat multiple other pros on it, guys. But today, I will be showcasing the build fully for you guys gonna be trying to go a tiny bit in depth with it but like all my other builds in the past guys i'm going to be leaving the full talent list the full build description everything in my discord server linked down in the description that's the only place you will be finding this build anywhere guys in my discord so make sure you join it up make sure to sub on the channel as we're trying to hit 2k make sure to like the video if you did enjoy and enough rambling let's just get right into the video guys so for stats we are running 562 and you guys might be saying but tan i thought you said 600 well guys i actually lied to you because the hp kit on this build is not my main hp kit i actually am using that hp cut on multiple builds i split it up actually the only thing min maxed on this build currently are the rings because i took everything else off and also my stats are actually outdated on this slot guys so i'm going to be blessing you guys up with the new updated stats for this build to make sure that you guys can get 600 hp with over 40 you know 50 fizz yeah w tana am i right guys so we have 562 hp 34 posture 35 fizz and 35 elemental not a bad spread and not bad not good guys and for equipment we have a one star floor bud comma with damage ignition deep delver 23 hp 7 fizz plate 2 hp earrings 22 hp 2 posture con helmet 34 hp star boots 9 hp waning 6 hp congas the max hp congas you can get 9 hp moon 7 hp profits and a 13 hp 3 wind scarf guys yes i would have a fizz scarf on this but i just have it on my bank slot for the time being because i'm too lazy to put it on for the showcase but i'm going to be getting into the talents now slow down the video if you guys want to see the talents but uh i will shut up and just play the talents So as you guys can see, this build is just super tanky. We have a bunch of just damage stacks just applying, applying, applying. We have reinforced armor. We have we have ghosts to get out of sticky situations. We have reinforced armor for the extra pen and extra HP, as you guys can see. We also have overflowing dam because we're not going to be using any ether on this build. So all we're going to be doing is just proccing 15% more damage to our M1s, which is just, you know, crazy. We have Wyvern's Claw for the 10% more damage while airborne. You know, you can go for an uppercut. You know, you can do like a little bit of that roll bait. And, you know, guys, it's just crazy. But like I said before, guys, this build is not the... Yo, can I... Hello? This build is not the actual build, but I will be showing you guys the actual build stats on screen right now. So here are the pre-shrine stats now. And here are the post-shrine stats now. And as you guys can see, this build is very, very good. Would I compare it to BLD's build? Yes, but no as well, because he has a couple more damage stacks and modifiers. But at the same point, he's shrining at power 18, guys. And I honestly could just never do that for, I think, 10, 20% more damage. I mean, if you guys want to, go ahead. But at the same point, you're not getting uh, you're not getting reinforced uh, post-shrine. So just uh, remember that, guys. You're not going to have as much HP, but you're probably going to be doing a tiny bit more damage. So that's his version. This is my version, though. Yes, I have been BLD on this. Yes, he has been me on this build. But guys, listen, he's Cali, I'm East. So, you know, we duke it out sometimes. Yes, I'm a white guy duking it out with a god seeker. That's just how good Tan is. But if you guys did enjoy this, you know, quick little showcase, I am recording this at 2 a.m. Please make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Make sure to sub on the channel. You know, from, we're trying to hit 2K. You know, we're trying to hit 2K. Join my Discord, you know, for the full build link. And I'm going to be running a couple of fights, you know, showing a couple of clips on me on this build, packing up some comp players, guys, everything. This build can do everything. Can it bring your dad back with the milk? I don't think so, though. But if you guys did enjoy, however, just, you know, make sure to like the video as it helps me out a ton. Make sure to turn on post notifications. And I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace out. Even though Toji Zeno had zero cursed energy, he was still able to perceive cursed spirits using his five senses. As time went on, he became better at it. He was superhuman. You shouldn't feel ashamed for losing to Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now.
Thank you.